Today I want to talk to you about how IBS is diagnosed. Now, first of all, the symptoms are bloating, pain, discomfort, a change in frequency or an appearance of your stools, um, mucus when you go to the toilet as part of the, the passage of mucus, incomplete evacuation, that feeling that you haven't quite finished in the toilet. Those are all symptoms of IBS. Now, if you had any other symptoms like bleeding, or maybe an anemia, unexpected weight loss, then, and maybe if you've got a history of cancer of the colon in the family, those are things that you should be going pretty quickly to your doctor about, and he will be doing further tests. Or he could at that stage send you to a gastroenterologist. Now initially, if you have only the first set of symptoms, he will probably do blood tests. And these are blood tests for certain markers like to see if you have celiac or not. If there are no more serious symptoms apart from what I've mentioned, and they might feel very serious to those of us with IBS, but we're not bleeding, we're not losing weight, etc., then he'll probably stop there and tell you you have IBS. If he's more concerned, then you're going to be having a colonoscopy, maybe a fecal test, possibly an ultrasound, just to rule out other possibilities and to see if you have something like Crohn's or colitis. Uh, also parasites, uh, that's the fecal test for that one. So normally you wouldn't need to do all those things and they all, I mean in particular the colonoscopy comes with certain risks, so don't do them unless you really have to. Don't, don't push for them if your doctor doesn't think you need them. Right, now, there are some intolerance tests that you could have done. There's the IgE blood test. Now, that's a valid one, but it really is for allergies. And we don't have food allergies. We malabsorb food. So it's not going to show up. It would only show up if you were actually allergic to something and break out in hives or have a, a quite radical reaction to it. There are other intolerance tests. None of them, unfortunately, have any scientific basis to them, like hair analysis, muscle testing as part of kinesiology. Um, also the IgG blood test is also not based on science. So the only one that would give you any answers would be the IgE test, and that's only if you were actually allergic to the food. Right, I hope that gives you a more complete picture, IBS is a diagnosis of exclusion. So if you've excluded all other possibilities, you don't have any of those more serious symptoms, then you have IBS because you still have the bloating, the pain, the discomfort, but there's nothing physiological that a doctor or any test can see. That's called IBS.